ShootF has a lot of different ways that you can configure it to enhance your experience while training. In this video, I'm going to show you different options and what they do in the GUI. So to start being able to change configuration settings, what I need to do is I need to click File, and then I need to click Preferences. So the first thing that I see is I see my camera settings. So this shows all the different cameras that I have connected to my laptop right now. So if I want to use one of these cameras, what I need to do is I need to click the checkbox that's to the left. Once I've clicked the checkbox, if I hit save, it will switch to start using that camera. Once I've also checked a box, I can also rename a camera to give it a friendlier name, like Backstop1. That just allows me to, to remember where my camera's actually pointed. If I have a bunch of cameras that I'm using at the same time, that way I don't have to remember uh, which one of these weird names belongs to which particular camera. Now if I scroll down, what I see is I see the laser settings. So I can change the marker radius. What this does is that it makes that dot that shows up where shoot off detected a shot bigger or smaller as you, as you want to expand it. I can also tell shoot off to ignore certain laser colors. So shoot off when it detects a shot will do its best to try to detect what color the laser was, whether it was red or green. So some, some trainers like the CERT pistol have an uptake laser that's green so that you can, you can see the uptake while you're pulling the trigger and then the shot indicator is actually red. So this is useful so that I can select to ignore the green laser. Now it's not gonna detect shots for the uptake laser but it will still detect the shot indicators. I can also cause shoot off to play a sound whenever I have a shot detected. So in this case, because I've checked this box, now anytime a red laser shot is detected, it's gonna play this sound of a wall flare shooting. I can also set one for green, and I can also click this check, or this, this ellipse button on the side over here, and I can select a Benelli Nova shotgun sound, and I can also select an SKS sound. One really handy feature is the virtual magazine. So if I check the box to turn on the virtual magazine, I can adjust the capacity of my magazine. Now once shoot off has detected the number of shots that I have configured, seven by default, when I, when I shoot my eighth shot, shoot off's gonna detect the shot, but it's not gonna actually inject it into the virtual world that shoot off creates. It's instead going to ignore the shot and then tell me to reload. That's an indicator to me while I'm training that I need to now do a, a reload drill. I can also do malfunction practice by turning on uh, injection malfunctions. Uh, what this does is it allows me to set uh, the probability that a, uh, a malfunction will occur. So because it's at 10% by default, out of every 10 shots, randomly, roughly one of them should cause a malfunction. So when a malfunction occurs, what happens is shoot off will ignore the shot and then it will tell you that a malfunction occurred so that you know that you need to go through whatever your preferred malfunction drill is. If I keep scrolling down, I can configure projector settings. So the first thing I can configure is what happens to the webcam feed that was used when I was calibrating my projector arena when I first start my projector. So the default setting is to only detect shots in the projector bounds. What this means is that when you look at the webcam feed after calibration, it will show you the entire webcam feed, but if you shoot in any area that it doesn't think is the arena, it will ignore the shot. I can also tell it to just detect shots everywhere so that it will detect it even outside of where the arena is, or I can tell it to crop the feed to the projection bounds, that way I'm not distracted by anything that's not my projector arena while I'm shooting. I can also tell it to show shot markers on the arena so that I can see the shot markers where my shots landed on the, on the arena that's being projected on, on the wall using my projector. The final thing that I can do, which we're gonna make a video of very soon, look out for it, is tell shoot off to automatically adjust the exposure for my arena. What that does is it causes shoot off to automatic, automatically reconfigure my camera while it's doing the calibration for the arena to give me the best performance that it can. Thanks for watching.